You're here to find out whether or not you can get the flu vaccine and the COVID vaccine at the same time. I'm Jason Kitterchuk. I'm an expert in virology and infectious diseases. The current evidence suggests that yes, this is completely safe to do. There's a couple of reasons this is important. The first is we need to get better flu vaccine coverage and as well COVID vaccine coverage uh, on a rolling basis within the country. So being able to get your vaccines at the same time at the same place actually increases our potential for people to uptake the vaccines like they need to. The second key point being that we don't see any loss in effectiveness with getting both vaccines. In fact, both vaccines continue to be as effective, whether they're administered at the same time or independently from one another. One of the things that we also need to consider is the overwhelming impact of influenza virus across our entire global community on a yearly basis. What we've seen in the past is that annual deaths from influenza, whether seasonal or not, were in the neighborhood of half a million people per year. So there's a continual need for people to get vaccinated across not only this country, but then across the global community as a whole. And the great thing about getting both of these vaccines at the same time is that it not only affords us with immunity, but also provides protection within our communities. We all live amongst people that are highly vulnerable to these diseases or have an increased vulnerability to these diseases. Our getting vaccinated for either COVID or influenza provides them with some benefit of protection as well. As we move from fall into winter time and into the holiday season, now is the time of the year that we traditionally see vaccination clinics opening up. And now we actually see COVID vaccine clinics as well as influenza vaccine clinics. One of the things we also need to appreciate is that the co-administration of the flu vaccine and the COVID vaccine does not lead to any loss in protection from the vaccinations. In fact, what we see is the retention of the full protection from those vaccines when they're co-administered.